why Christians need to fight against this wicked papist devil right here. Uh, Dr. Taylor Marshall, one of you let me know that he's actually running for president um, in 2024. Uh, this guy could come out and he could say a lot of nice things and whatever else, but you don't ever trust a papist like this. And I'm going to show you why. He makes it very plain that he would persecute people like you and I as Bible believers. That's why you can never let a, a devil like this in. Let's do this short here. I am also running for president in 2024 on the Christ the King platform. Do I expect to win? I can't answer that question, but I think we need a candidate who comes out and says abortion should be illegal, no-fault divorce should be illegal, contraception should be illegal. We need a Christian culture in America. We don't need secularism. We don't need strict separation of church and state. Uh oh we don't need strict separation of church and state? Oh, you mean there'd be a state church? I wonder what that would be. Hmm, I don't know. Roman Catholicism? We don't need strict separation of church and state. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Congress shall make no law regarding the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. First Amendment. He'd get, he'd get rid of that. Well, we're going to have the Catholic Church. That's why you can't trust a papist, because they're, they have dual allegiance, dual citizenship. Citizen of Rome, the Vatican, say it that way, and a citizen of whatever country that they're living in. And the one that goes to the Vatican, that's their true allegiance. You cannot have a man like this if you want freedom. I don't care what nice little things he says about being conservative and conservative values and whatever. He's a papist devil. Uh, fight against guys like this. Spread the word. We can't have some guy like this in. America's a Protestant nation. America's not a Catholic nation. All right. Protestants protest things, protest abuses. We don't just say, oh, the Pope said it, the Holy Father said it, I'll submit. No, no. I don't kiss men's toes or kiss the ring on their finger or something like that. No, I'm not a Catholic slave. Let's continue here. We need a candidate who's going to say that. No one on the Republican GOP ticket's ever going to say that. So I'm going to run and I'm going to say all those things and we'll see what happens. MA Patriot says, you've got my vote, Dr. Marshall. All right, I got, already got one vote. I'd vote for you and I'm LCMS, Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. When I'm running on a Catholic platform and I got a strict Missouri Synod Lutheran voting for me, you know that's legit. Here's another vote coming in. Got another vote. Well, Lutherans are just Catholics, just Catholic light. Okay. I'm a Protestant. I would call myself a Protestant, but never a Protestant reformer. Uh, the Catholic Church shouldn't be reformed. All right, it should be destroyed by Almighty God, and it will be someday. So, vote from Brendan. I got another vote for Joe. I mean, I've got at least 10 votes in America right now. One God, world without end. Amen. And don't think that they, they won't be able to bring a guy like this out. You keep all this liberal stuff going and whatever else. And I think he's crazy enough to stand by a lot of what he says, too. I think he could come out and, and uh, they'll, they're looking for a, a trad cat leader. All right. And uh, just before I go off a little bit more on this guy here, um, something else that he says. Uh, I saw this thing today. heard about this. The Southern, Southern Poverty Law Center. They actually have a hate map <laughs> for hate, hate groups. Here's one in Maine, the Colchester Collection. I have no idea what the Colchester Collection is. Nation of Islam, Act for America, Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Has a hate group there, I guess. Scott Lively Ministries. I don't know what that is. Slaves of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. There you go, Trad Cats. But you go down through, here's a bunch of different ones. There's Last Chance Patriots, Radix Journal, whatever that is. Lordship Church. There's actually some new IFB stuff in here. Where's one? Uh, it's, uh, Proud Boys. There's one. Where was that thing at? There was one. Um, I forget where it was. But there was a new IFB thing in here somewhere. Uh, yeah, they had a, a couple uh, new IFB things in here. Israel United Church in Christ or some steadfast Baptist Church right there it is right there a new IFB <laughs> so, yeah um, 
here's another one he does. He throws this little clip in from this wicked Hollywood movie trying to make a, a Christian nativist look bad. You know, whatever. But you made it very out. clear that you believe, like I do, that Catholicism is the one true faith. Why would a non-Catholic vote for you? None of this is to coerce or create a mandatory obligation. Huh, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, yes, it is. If this guy had come to power, he'd make, you know, the Catholic Church mandatory. Said so he doesn't, you know, strict uh, separation between church and state. You know, get rid of that. And you know what? A lot of Protestants are going to look at who I am and be like, that guy is so Catholic. I would never vote for that Mary worshiping papist <laughs> against a Roman popery. But if everybody who said when a sperm and an egg meet and there's conception, a human person is created with a soul. And every person who says marriage is one man, one woman until death do us part. If everyone who believes those two truths voted for me, I believe I would be the president. We may get to a point where we lose that opportunity. We're getting pretty close. So we either... No, we're not. No, we're not. Either try to force that discussion and move the Overton window or digging out our catacombs and preparing our necks for martyrdom. To be blunt... Okay. Yeah. You sound more optimistic than me about that people would support that. I hope you're right. You've made it very clear. Okay. Yeah. I hope she's right. Uh, no. Um, whatever we have to do to get that guy, just, you know, no way. Um, crazy. Uh, he did a video too here somewhere. Um, did some video where he, he interviewed, uh, a Catholic priest right there is the guy, um, in that grave get up or whatever there. And the guy was trained by Jesuits, and they did a whole thing on the Jesuits. But, uh, and in that thing, he went off about how that anybody that gets to heaven has to be Catholic. You know, so radical uh, papist. Um, but, yeah, we can't let a guy like this run for president. Um, America's not ready for a trad cat president. Uh, so... There fight against fight against this stuff. I am here. also Yeah. Sorry about that. Fight against this stuff. Uh don't give in to it. We cannot let papists run this country. They would uh they'd hunt us down. All right? Talk about hate. So that is going to be it. Thank you for watching.